Good morning and welcome back. You're watching my community on My45. I'm your host again, Gabriel Alvarez. Our next guest today is Heidi Carter from the Department of Human Services. Thank you, Heidi, for being on the show. Thank you for letting us come on. Let's uh, just jump on board. Um, this month is Purple Ribbon Month. And can you share a little bit, first of all, what that is and maybe share more about what Caitlin's Law is? Well, here in the state of California, it is against the law to leave a child six years of age or younger in a motor vehicle unless there's someone 12 years of age or older with them. Okay. Um, there's several reasons for the law, but this law is named Caitlin's Law because Caitlin was a little six month old baby girl in Corona, California, who lost her life because she was accidentally left behind by a daycare provider. Wow. And she died um, because of that um, hyperthermia. When they took her body temperature at the emergency room, even though she was deceased, her body temperature was still reading 107 degrees. Wow. So the inside of a motor vehicle, especially in California, especially this time of year, the temperatures can get deadly very quickly. Yeah, we're, we're in Bakersfield, it gets into the triple digits so easy, so fast, so early in the day. Exactly. And even uh, with the windows up and so forth, it gets hot. Well, what we're telling people in the community is three things. It's called ACT. A is avoid it. C is create reminders and T is take action. So we go back to avoid it. You never leave your child alone in a motor vehicle, not even for a minute. You think, oh, I'm just gonna run into the store or even running in to pay for gas. Right. Um, and then there's a line of three people. That one minute can twi quickly turn into 10 minutes. What we've experienced even just a few days ago doing a demonstration is we started with air conditioned car, 75 degrees and in 10 minutes the inside temperature of that car was already 100 degrees wow. so you avoid it by never doing it on purpose c is create reminders so mickey here mickey. This, is a, this is a visual reminder one of the things you can do is you can have mickey mouse and we'll say that this is the infant that you have you keep mickey in the car seat you know mickey also provides some um, nice insulation so the buckles don't get hot they're not uh, in the direct idea. sunlight yes. so mickey's in the in the car seat when you bring your baby in Mickey goes into the front seat with you, and baby goes into the car seat, and then when you get out of the vehicle, you do the same thing in reverse. So Mickey's up there in the front seat as a visual reminder that your baby's on board. Another thing you can do, diaper bag in the front seat with Mickey too, mm -hmm. and guess what, cell phones. Number one distraction, Yes. leave the cell phone, leave the purse, leave the briefcase in the back seat with the baby because you're never going to forget your phone. Right. And people say, how does that happen? How do you forget to, your child? Well, we'll talk about that in a second, but T is take action. So if you happen to see a child left behind in a motor vehicle, what you need to do is you need to call 911 immediately. Your instinct might be to just break the window, but really what you need to do is you need to call 911 because you need that ambulance, you need law enforcement responding to the scene because you have no idea how long that child has been in the car. Right. And it very well may be that when the paramedics arrive, they're gonna have to transport that child immediately. So call 911 and then try to find the parent, try to find some way to get that child out of the car. Yeah, it's so important. I think we all have to do our part we do. And if we see if we see that happen, take action right away. Absolutely. That's very good. And it really is calling 911 first before you do anything else. So when we talk about creating those visual reminders, how can a, how can an adult forget their child in the car? So what we remind people is that we are a distracted society. Um, also, car seats are in the back seat rear facing, especially on zero to six months, actually it's zero, it's up to a year old now, it's still rear facing. So you don't even, you don't even have a physical eye contact That's with your true. child anymore. Right. Baby goes to sleep and you're on your way to drop the child off at daycare, but something happens, somebody cuts you off, or you get a call from work and you actually take the time to look at it, uh, at a light, and next thing you know, you're thinking about work, your brain already thinks you've dropped your child off. Mm -hmm. And if they're quiet in the back seat and you don't have that visual reminder and you don't have those safety routines built in, it is very easy to walk away from that vehicle and forget that your child's there. Wow, that's scary stuff. It's terrifying and 54% of the time it is a true accidental leaving behind. Some minor change of routine. Maybe you're taking the child to daycare but your wife usually does it and you forget because right. you're, you're in your daily habit and you're in your daily routine and even though you put that child in there, no visual reminder in the front seat, you actually could forget the child is there. Could be a grandparent taking care of the child for the day. It's not part of their normal routine. 
And so it's very easy for them to get into their normal routine right. and forget that the child is part of their responsibility that day. And it can happen. It's happened to law enforcement. This year, it was an officer in North Carolina that forgot his child was in the car. Wow. We've had it happen to neurosurgeons. There was a principal who the only change in her routine was she stopped to get donuts for her staff. Wow. That just that slight change of routine, and she was already at work, and in her mind, she had already dropped the baby off at daycare. So it's good to have these, these good routines. Yes. Uh, for example, Mickey and putting it in the car seat. I like what you had mentioned about the phones. Yep. Because we shouldn't be on the on That's our phones. That's right. It's against the anyways. law to be on your phone anyway. So kill two birds with one stone. Get that distraction. Get that out of your way. Put it in the back seat, and that will help you create that that reminder. Right. How many uh, incidents have we had so far this year? So so far in uh, the United States, there have been 23 children that have been killed because they have either gained entry to a car, been left behind on purpose, or accidentally left behind. And so 54% of the time, it is a true accident. About 12% of the time, it's a child gaining entry. So another thing you have to remember, leave your cars locked in the driveway. So kids can't accidentally gain entrance, maybe playing hide and seek. Right. Maybe they left a toy behind, and they went back to retrieve it, and the door closes on them. They don't know how to get out because the car, the child yeah, locks are have, on the back seat. Exactly, yes. And they might not even know to climb over the seat to get out through the adult's exit. Right. Um, so accidental you know, entry into a car is another thing you have to be thinking about. And then of course, there's the small percentage of the time that they are purposefully leaving a child behind and not realizing how quickly hyperthermia and uh, life-threatening temperatures can happen inside a vehicle. Yes, you, you mentioned you guys did a study uh, not too long ago. In 10 minutes, it was, how hot did it get? Yeah, so we've been doing the demos all throughout Kern County. Uh -huh. And um, one of the demos yesterday, we had it in Taft. And it, with the temperature inside the car, when we cooled it down to 75 degrees, and in 10 minutes, it was already 100 degrees inside the vehicle. 20 minutes later, 114 degrees yeah. inside the car. Right. And it was still only 98 degrees outside. So we're talking, I mean, that's a cool day in Bakersfield. Yeah. Oh, 98 yeah. degrees yeah. is a cool day. Um, and that's, so those are mild, there was a nice breeze. And still, we saw extreme it's temperatures. Really the highest temperature we got it to yesterday was 144 degrees. Wow. Inside the car. You can bake cookies. Yeah. No, that's, it's scary stuff. And I think it's good to be reminded constantly for that, especially those of you who have killed uh, children. How can somebody get more information? Well, they can um, go on our website. The Department of Human Services is kcdhs.org. And there's a link there for Purple Ribbon Month. There's also some public service announcements on there. And there's a very um, disturbing seven minute video called One Decision. Um, that demonstrates how quickly it can happen in a car. It's uh, very hard to watch, but I would recommend anyone who has the responsibility for caring for a child um, watch that video. And um, they can also call the Department of Human Services at okay. 633, I'm sorry, 631-6600. Awesome. Heidi, thank you so much for being thank on you. the show. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. And this is the show of My Community on My45. Until next time.